You don't think twice about having your dog or your cat microchip just in case they get lost, but what about microchipping your children? Now, the technology has been around for years, but now leading experts believe that putting microchips in children will happen sooner rather than later. So, do you think that this is a, a blessing for panicky parents, or is it a gross invasion of privacy for our kids? Well, I just know that I was the child who needed to be chipped. <laughs> Literally. Um, my family had no idea where I was, what I was doing, I was lying, all the above. You I seem was... so nice. I am! Now, I was, I was the tyrant teenager, definitely. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's that thing, you know, I, I blame the Catholic school I went to, the, everything they told me not to do. You I did. did, you know. And, of course, like, it was like, well, I'm going to stay at Kate's at the weekend. I'm staying at Samantha's at the weekend. Oh, no, I wasn't. I was round at the new, you know, the new lad's house. I was probably having drinks out of a can that I shouldn't have been having, trying smoking and, and everything. So How I, old are you when you're About 15, 14, <gasps> 15, yeah. And the, the worst thing I ever did was... <laughs> when my mum Kids, found, if you're watching, don't, yeah, she is don't, a bad don't, lady. Yes, <laughs> do not listen yes, to her. I learned by my mistakes was the, you know, the, having the, the school diary, right? So I had the lock on it. And my mum, all I wanted to do was go to this nightclub for New Year's Eve. And I'd written it in my diary, I will do anything. And I found these people who did made fake ID and I wrote the, the whole entry was I'm elated I found someone who can make fake ID and I got it made I got in the club but then mum found the mum found it oh my god <gasps> oh, I was grounded for three months but literally fancy writing it in your diary but I was dead chuffed <laughs> I got a fake ID in the north that's like a tattoo <laughs> well 